Good morning, Joyce. Rachel! Uh, uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William. And he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problem. Wowzer. Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. Now for the mother's milk. Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Who drinks beer this early around here? Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Wowzer, Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. Oh, jeez, can you help me get this bird out of here? David, this is Officer Korn. Just want to let you know, your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break-in. What? The call? eggs always come You're first, as Joyce used to say. Don't you sleep? This might be the one time these people are right. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. But Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? 
Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this, and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Naturally, David would- I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password.
Hmm. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. I could try the license number for the password. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? David has been dragging his head around since 2001? Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Nothing in it. Oh, shit balls. Worst hacker ever. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. Must be nice to be suspended and have some free time off Blackwell. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. 
You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. This is so creepy. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next, the tornado? You don't think it could be like climate change or something? Climate sure has changed around here. Just saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Isn't he always having a fit? He ain't the only one. If you knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm too pissed to talk about it. See you around, kid. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Worst interview ever. Work is dried up around here, and I have bills to pay. Time is money to a guy like me. That sucks. Wish I could drive right out of goddamn Arcadia Bay. The whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, that slut suicide. Listen, Kate Marsh was not a slut. She was severely depressed for good reasons. You didn't even know her, did you? I know all these Blackwell spoiled shit. Like 
That other loser I'd see around here. Rachel. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. Yes, another great day in Arcadia Bay. How are you? I remember you. Max, can I get you something from the diner? I heard about that girl killing herself at Blackwell. Mm, awful thing. Kate Marsh. I was with her when she jumped. I tried to save her. I swear I did. Oh, honey. That was her choice, not yours. Don't you carry that weight. I know. I'm starting to see that I can't change everything. Especially when it comes to other people. Kate Marsh probably felt like she had nothing no more. I know the feeling. But I need to find out who else is involved in this. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me. So I see everybody, and everything. Including Nathan Prescott? That spoiled shit just has a bad aura, as we used to say. He also drugged the girl who jumped. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe, and you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just gonna say this. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you! You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and you eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans!
Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Aren't you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother, but I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit now that you've been suspended? Thanks for trying to get me in trouble, you twee bitch. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal! I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. What the fuck now? <coughs> I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. How you doing, Maxine? Thanks, Officer Barry. I'm glad you're representing Blackpool Academy. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. 
I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? What can I do for you, Max? Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. What the fuck now? You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! He brought. Now back to Chloe. Max? Whew. That was close, Alyssa. Okay, Max. This is the third time you've saved me from harm's way. You must be my angel. Don't thank me. I haven't done anything special. I saw you try and save my friend Gate on that roof. The only one who did. While people took camera pics. Kate was my friend, too. I would have done anything to save her. Everybody saw that. I'm proud of you for being so brave. You're pretty cool, Max. That's not how I feel today, but thanks. We need to hang out more. Drink some wine. I have to go, but let's talk later, cool? I should have known. The amazing Spider-Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Get the treat, treat, boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. 
Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. You scope the area while I hack his computer for Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. Crappy Wi-Fi. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Are these for Frank, or is he selling them? Or both? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Ooh, Frank's stash. What? That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. Is Frank going to deal online now? That's a pretty extreme lighter. I cannot believe he would wear a collar and a furry mask. You're dumb. Pompidou? <laughs> For reals? That's a poodle's name. Zip, nada, nothing. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Max, you didn't tell me you took photos of Frank in action. I'm seriously ignoring you. My blade will open any portal. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! 
Chloe! Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah blah blah, as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh... Yes, Kate Marsh killed herself. She's dead. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel better about my fucked up life, get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame David? I said my dad. My real father, who got himself killed for nothing. Not the human placeholder for Joyce. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid, and he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here, alive, with me, and that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me, and Rachel needs you. Oh my god, what is happening now? Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. might just allow this one into the family album. No. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Daddy. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I Who that far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France they call them crepes. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13 year old self. If you want to eat. Breakfast. How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? 
Mom said it depends. That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? What a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe.